President Jacob Zuma will tomorrow unveil a life-size statue of struggle icon Oliver Tambo at the Oat Tambo International Airport. The sculpture was created by local artists and they took about five to six weeks sculpting it from photographs of his face. The late struggle stalwarts would have turned 100 years old on the 27th of this month. Numerous statues have been erected in South Africa and abroad in honor of Tambo's memory. Now, a 2.5 meter life size statue is set to be unveiled at the OR International Airport as part of OR centenary celebrations. The statue is expected to enhance South Africa's tourism image. It's quite a significant honor for us to have the statue of uh, OR Tambo there uh, because our airport was named after him. Uh, and our airport is not only a gateway into the country, but it's also a gateway into the continent. So it's befitting that you would have uh, somebody who was not only one of the uh, most notable uh, liberation movement leaders on the continent, having an airport such as ours named after him and having his presence via the statue there as well. The making of the sculpture took intensive hard work and dedication by three local artists. You basically have a, the miniature one CNC'd, was first scanned, so a scan of it, and then it's cut out of a polyurethane foam, but smaller, like with a layer removed, and then we sculpt it onto that with um, plasticine, which is about an oil-based clay, very similar to the kind of clay that children use at school, that sort of rocks on play clay, but it's like a dark grey version of that. And then we worked on it for about five to six weeks, sculpting it from photographs, um, photographs of his face, of Oa's face, and then also photographs of a model who posed for us in the particular stance and pose that we wanted. We like worked on every part, so every part has been like well thought of, and we put more work in every like surface of the statue. So every part of the statue. It, it means something to me as an artist. Before embarking on the journey of making the sculpture, the artist researched Tambo's lifetime. We watched a video of his and um, he was so well spoken, so humble and in times where he could have erupted in, you know, like um, confronting what was being said, he was so well, he held everything in so well and, you know, the way he delivers himself. So I think he's a very respectable man given the circumstances and everything that he had fought for. So um, when they see our figure, the figure that we made, I think we would like to represent how um, just a respectable and so dignified and so elegant and so <laughs> loving he is at the same time. Even though they were thrilled to be a part of the making of such a historical statue, they had to overcome numerous challenges and concerns. You know when we're working on like uh, as, a, a small figure because it's really hard to see the faults and all like the wrongs that might be in the small statue and then when you're enlarging it that's when you start encountering problems like the positioning because mm -hmm. i remember when we were working on the 2.5 one we had to like move the uh, the feet forward because the kind of a pose it was leaning forward and it wasn't right so we had to like decapitate the leg and then move it forward so that it can get back to the uh, original pose. In terms of sculpting him, it was like, oh my goodness, why, <laughs> why us? But um, even worse, because we had his, um, his son coming in to, you know, consult with us. So um, it was a lot of pressure and having our names on someone, a public figure, and, you know, trying to not make anything that would look not like him would have been, yeah, it was really nerve wracking. The small details on the statue will tell a tad of Tambo's life story. His wife Adelaide said that she packed the suitcase, his blue suitcase for him um, as he was going on one of his trips. So we've made the suitcase blue, the same sort of vintage 1960s blue. Um, and that sort of bluish vinyl with a sort of edging. And what we've done is we put a map then on the side of the suitcase that showed all his travels, you know, all the hundreds of places he went to. Um, in his attempt to actually get support for the ANC um, in exile. Yeah. And then what we've done also is we've made the tie, his tie, the ANC colours, to show that he was a symbolic of the fact that he was president of the ANC while he was in exile. 
The statue will be unveiled by President Jacob Zuma. Nompumele Lomtetwa, SABC News.